Hey, thanks for having me over before Vespers. Of course. You're always welcome. Do you think you can tell me about the hymns of the church? Of course. The hymns of our Coptic Orthodox Church have very deep meanings and so much history behind them. They're not just ordinary songs. They're actually very special. Really? So where do hymns come from? One of the first times hymns were chanted was when Moses and the Israelites praised God for saving them from the harsh Egyptians. Really? What happened then? God had freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt. He had split the Red Sea for them so that they could cross safely on dry land and drowned Pharaoh and his chariots when they tried to chase the Israelites through the Red Sea. God saved his people, the Israelites. They were so thankful that Moses and all the Israelites started singing to the Lord. So they started singing a hymn? Yes, they did. Wow, I wish I knew the song they sang. We do know what they said. The whole story and the song can be found in the Bible, in the book of Exodus chapter 15. If we open up the Bible, we can find that the song starts with, Let us sing to the Lord, for he is greatly glorified. Exodus chapter 15 verse 1. Is that the whole hymn? <laughs> Not quite. The rest of the words they sang can be found in the first host of the Midnight Praises, or Tazbeha, and we still chant it in our Coptic church. Oh, is that the one that goes, Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, Let us sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Yeah, that's the one. Wow, that's so cool. So the Israelites must have been really happy, huh? You're absolutely right. The first thing they did when they were free was praise God with this hymn as a way to give thanks for all the mighty works that God performed for them. Their hearts were so full of joy that Moses' sister Miriam even grabbed a tambourine to play and all the women followed her led with the tambourines and praises too. So that explains the first host, but where do all of the other hymns come from? That's a great question. A lot of the original hymns that were prayed in the vigils were actually based off of the Psalms. The Psalms? Like the ones that King David wrote in the Bible? Exactly! So then did all of the hymns come from just the Psalms? Not all of them. In fact, a lot of them were added by prayers from the other books of the Bible, and even some saints and gifted children wrote hymns to praise God with, that we still use even today. It sounds like we have a lot of hymns then. So why do we even chant hymns? We chant them because hymns are the work of the angels and all the heavenly hosts. It's the job of those that are closest to God. It is a gift that we should be grateful for. St. Basil the Great once said, The work of praising attracts the service of the angels because it is part of their work, and they become attached to those who share in their service. By praising God, we are in heaven while still on earth, because that is what we will be doing in heaven. And when that spirit enters into paradise, it lives by chanting and praising God at all times. Wow! So every time we chant hymns, we're praying in heaven? That's so awesome! I can't wait to learn more hymns and chant them. So, do we say the same hymns all the time? Actually, the beauty about the hymns is that they change with the seasons of the church. Seasons of the church? You mean like the different events of the Coptic year? That's right. There are lots of different tunes and hymns that we chant when we celebrate the different events of the year. You think we can chant them all? Yeah, let's do it on our way to church. Let's start off with the tune that we use for a lot of the year, the annual tune. The one that goes, Oh yeah, that's right. There's also the joyful tune. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Exactly. But guess what? It's not just the tunes of the hymns that change. A lot of the hymns themselves also change from season to season. Each season has its own special set of hymns. Some of the hymns are mournful like during Pascha week, like when we chant other hymns are very joyful and uplifting, like during the feasts of the Lord and the resurrection period. Oh, there's also the Osanna or Shanini tune, like when we say on Palm Sunday, Osanna in the highest, this is the King of Israel. 
Yes, exactly. There are so many tunes and hymns for all different occasions. It's so cool how hymns change to focus on certain events in the church. I wish I knew a lot more hymns, but I don't know a lot of them. What should I do to learn more? Don't worry, that's not a problem at all. Nobody just magically knows all the hymns. We all learn little by little, praising God as best as we can. So how can I learn? When we're in church, we should try and chant with the deacons and follow along with the words of the hymn so we can understand what we're saying and pray with understanding. When we pray with understanding, we please God and make him very happy. By the way, we're still missing a few more tunes. The Kiech tune, which we chant just before the Nativity or the birth of Christ, like in the hymn, Wait, remind me again, which one is this one? Oh, that one is the weekend tune for Great Lent. Weekend tune? Yeah, there's a different tune for the weekdays of Great Lent. That one goes like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, wow. So there's two tunes for the Great Lent then. One for the weekdays and one for the weekends. Anything else? I think we got them all. Annual, joyful, mournful, kiak, hosanna, weekday for Great Lent and weekend for Great Lent. Whew, that was a lot. Yeah, those are the main tunes for the different seasons. But remember, the most important thing about chanting these hymns is not how they sound, but rather that we are actually praying to God. What if we mess up when we're chanting? That's perfectly fine. We try the very best that we can. The more we try and chant, the easier it will become, and soon the hymns will be ingrained in our minds, so that we will always be chanting the hymns in prayer. Wow, I learned a lot about hymns today. Thank you so much. Of course. If you ever have any questions, just ask so you can learn more and more. All right, I will. Like St. Paul says in the Bible, pray without ceasing. Remember, prayer is simply us talking to God like how you would have a conversation with one of your friends. The hymns give us words to pray to our Lord at any time. God wants us to pray to him all the time. I can't wait to learn more hymns and to use them in my prayers. Me too. Let's go inside the church and start praying together. Praise the Lord from the heavens, Alleluia, praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels, Alleluia, praise Him, all His hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon, Alleluia, praise Him, all you stars of light. Praise Him, you heavens of heavens, Alleluia, and you waters of